this is the DJI Osmo. So basically this is the handheld steady cam. This is a gimbal plus a camera on it. So this camera is basically from a DJI Inspire 1 and uh, we'll dive right into it. It's a, quite a big package and it's got the two boxes over here and a case over here that looks very sturdy. It's very well built. Looks like a miniature guitar. So um, we're gonna open up here and here's the gimbal itself. So this is quite complicated. It took me some time for me to understand it, but um, I'm gonna make it as simple as I could. So here are two boxes. As the icon here tells you, it's gonna contain a cable along with the strap. So here we have a lens cap and a strap, more straps and a little box here for your quick guide and that's pretty much it there are two straps one for your hand and one for you to put around your neck and the little cap for your lens over here is obviously the charger whoops charger and a cable so you can plug that in and of course you can plug your battery here to charge it the battery obviously stays here over here you can open that up and you can replace it or pull that out to charge it it's a 980 milliamps you can use about an hour with this battery while uh different gimbals you can other gimbals you can use for up to two hours of the battery this can only run an hour because it has to run the gimbal and the camera in the same time and this is a very very complicated camera that is also fine and the drones uh namely the inspire one as i told you from the beginning so it requires a lot of battery. Don't mind that. So um, you can, before we turn on, we're just gonna do the brief. So here's the camera itself and there is the gimbal itself. This is usually covered in cap over here. And um, you can definitely take the 4K footage with this. Uh, for full HD, you can go up to 120 frames per second. And for the higher, higher resolution, you can go lower frames per second. So you, you're gonna take this little safety thingy out. And there's a micro USB cable, the camera, and these are basically locked so you can unlock that in order to use that just like that. It's going to start moving. And here's a power key and a little joystick over here to move your camera around. And the video recording, photo recording, and a button to change the posture of your camera. And here's the mount for your smartphone. This rotates all the way back and to the other way around and you can open that up to install your phone. We'll get to that just in a second. So before we get into anything further, we're just gonna install the phone first. So here it goes like, whoops. Hmm, how does it, ah, uh-huh. So here your phone goes like that and it extends to this manner so you can watch your phone as a viewfinder while you take the video. So you can pull down the trigger over there, over here, to turn on your DJI Osmo. And give it a few seconds, it's gonna center its camera and then start making sound from the fan there. This has got a high-tech camera there, so it's gonna need the fan there. So if you're recording from a close distance, you might wanna plug in your own microphone to avoid that noise going into your video. Uh, after you turn on your Osmo, here is the Osmo on Wi-Fi. So we're going to tap that and type in the password. We actually had a preset, very simple password there. So we're just going to connect. And you can download the DJI Go app from the App Store. Here we have the DJI Go. And as soon as it connects to the Wi-Fi network from Osmo, it's going to launch. So we're just going to skip that video and enter the camera view. And as soon as we do, here is the basics of the Osmo. So you can view the real-time video through your smartphone. So you, here's a little cradle and you can use your joystick to move your Osmo around. And here's a trigger there so you can press and hold to lock the camera in the angle or you can tap twice to center the camera to the front. Or you can take the selfie by tapping thrice on the trigger one, two, three, and then, and then there we go. <laughs> I'm quite new to this. I'm quite new to all the camera and 
everything so it's going to require me some time to get used to it so that's the basics of what you can do with the Osmo so this looks like the ultimate selfie and the stabilized gimbal plus the high-tech camera in the same place it seems like we can use this for virtually anywhere we can we need the camera so it's uh, it's retailing at 650 690 it's quite pricey but for what it offers it seems like it's a it's an acceptable price to me so that was dji osmo you can order that pretty much now i believe so we'll get back with the comprehensive review very soon stay tuned and this was the unboxing for the dji osmo following your focus bye